Hello, um, this is May 2nd, 2011. Um, I'm going to tr attempt to channel Dameron. I know it's been a while since I've vocal channeled. Um, mainly my channeling efforts have been going into uh, another project. And that's what kind of, why I've been focused more on that than doing these channelings. But, you know, I figured Dameron is looking to give another message, so here we go. <sighs> Brightest blessings to you on this day. I am Davin Yacobi de Raziel. As you may notice, I am not speaking with an accent today. The accent was primarily a tool which the channel used in order to get to achieve the certain state that she needed to get into. But now she has achieved a, a, a certain what you may call level so that she doesn't have to do that anymore. So if she's having trouble, she may revert back to the accent, but it's not necessary. And may I say it's wonderful to be speaking with you again. As you know, both the channel and I have been busy. We've been working on a certain project. We've been working on some what, what the channel calls mock television bumpers or mock station identification. And, you know, we, we, we did it to throw a little silly element out there to help you to get us to know better. There's, it is not that the channel is channeling any television station we might have. And if it was, if she was, it would probably sound a little different. Probably be more in our language. Um, it would also be the lettering would probably be, be a little different. But this project ha has many layers to it. This is. It's, I mean, it serves to entertain you, we hope, but it also breaks you out of a certain paradigm. This project that the channel and I have been working on, as well as assistance from some of our other sisters, is is using familiar concepts that people have taken for granted such as we all see you watching your programs as you pay attention to the programs and sometimes the advertisements but not often do you pay attention to the little things like the station identification or, or the bumpers such as, such as the like movie bumpers that they proceed with this perhaps the Saturday night movie not many people know that there's a lot of programming going on there um, 
is probably a lot the programming was a lot heavier back in your time before the mid 1990s than there is now this is primarily due to the to the fact that these stations realize that this new media format in, in your world called the internet is primarily taking hold and they're not really trying that hard anymore I mean if you look at the older station bumpers with the station identification they were meant to impress a certain impression upon you. A and nobody really pays attention to it. And, it. and it profoundly affects people to a certain degree, which they don't understand because they have nothing to compare it to. Well, this project that we're working on, and, and there may be more to the project, depending on how things go, This is to provide you with another perspective, how we may do this, how we may do television on our planet if we were to do that. And of course, yes, we, we like to poke fun at, at the way you do things sometimes, and it's out of love. Um, be with you in a moment. But the main idea is perspective. So, so much of those little things that people didn't really think about was so heavily programmed with fear. That the visuals and and the theme music that they made w was in intended to instill a sense of that this is all powerful you must focus on this um with the station ident's we made is mainly made out of love and yes we poke a fun at a few people and, you know we don't we don't necessarily do it to promote any kind of fear or conspiracy. Uh, we just do it to point out silly things. And, and we hope you enjoy them. As we have discussed before, some of you may feel a certain connection to certain star races or star cultures. And we, we hope that well, while you do, you are willing to explore this aspect of yourselves, do not forget that you're living here on Earth, and there's a reason for that. And it's not, and, and it's not just to, as you may say, save the world. <laughs> you, you, you need to li you need to live. You need to respect the human side of yourself. This is not to say that you can't feel that the world is, you would, is not to your liking. That's, that's fine. That's, it's, pr it's valid. We make no judgments on how you feel. But just consider li at least living your human life. Don't, don't simply throw it out the window. Try to find things. Try to find people to connect with. If, if not, if you can't find anybody locally, do, do try the internet. Try not to isolate yourself. Because we, 
we do care, and we see a lot of you. The whole point is to work with humanity, to try to help them. And, and we see that when you isolate yourselves, you just become more fearful of them. And, and we understand that it's very difficult or challenging sometimes to live in that world. But isn't, isn't that the point? <laughs> Is, isn't that the point to come and, and help them out? And it's not, I mean, that, that's the reason why we're here, because it's a difficult world to live in right now. And we're here to change that. So just... Don't be so hard on them. You, 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 can, you can say you do not prefer the human way of life, and that is fine. But don't be so hard on them. We, we're here to help. And remember, this is an experience school. It's, it's not, we're not just here to just give pronouncements from our ivory tower. <laughs> we're here to help. Just help them. In, in whatever way you feel you can. Don't be so hard on them. Go and live. Live life. See what there is to experience. This world can't be a hundred percent bad. <laughs> there are some things in life that you must enjoy, otherwise you simply would just wouldn't be here. And you know, we say this out of love and we love you so much. And we know you ha have what you may call heritage off this planet, but your heritage is also here as well. 